So hello and welcome back to my channel where today we're going to be opening up my new PC and I'm super excited because this is my first ever PC, my first ever PC, I've been, I've had laptops before and they always go to crap every like two to three years, they always break, so I'm really excited to upgrade to a PC and this is actually meant to be a really really good PC as well, it cost me a thousand pound to actually buy and we also have a monitor that I'm going to open and show to you guys as well and that cost me about 105 pound, so this video is really just for those people who want to see what I'm going to be using from now on for my zombie streams and other streams possibly and just in general what I'm going to be editing on because I know a lot of people out there actually like to look at specs and whatnot. So without further ado, we're going to go into this first box. It's actually probably too big for me to even lift up into the camera right now. So I might have to move the camera back a little bit in a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and open up the sort of, I, I might be able to put this down actually to see. So as you can see here, I've been waiting for probably... 24 hours probably a little bit after yesterday I came home and I wanted to open this and this is the box for my PC itself and I waited for this video to be recorded I'm gonna cut this open quick I've been waiting for this video to actually get started to be recorded I have to wait for my monitor to be delivered to me which uh, has only just been delivered to me the time is currently 8 15 p.m. so at night and it had only just been delivered to me which is my monitor, so now I've basically got the full setup. We're in. And for people wondering, mouse and whatnot I'm going to be using, I'm going to put this over to the side, um, I'm going to be using like a very box standard mouse and keyboard. I uh, don't know where to put all this wrapping. Um, just because I don't really have uh, enough money to buy a good mouse or keyboard or whatnot. And there's a lot of like this protected packaging which is good to see. And another thing as well, yesterday when I picked this box up, it was really light. Like a lot lighter than I expected a PC to be. Let's not ruin my microphone right there. There we go. So we're going to pull this out right here. Right. I think that's literally all I need. Everything else is just packaging. So let me put this behind me for a second. So as you can see here, this is what I'm going to be using and... I might as well go into it because this isn't a lot to be honest. So we open up this second box. And if I can get it open, there we go. Right, let's have a look inside of this box. So inside of it you have like all this. I don't know how easy this is going to be to open it all up. We've got discs and whatnot, I'll use those in a bit. And then we have the PC itself. Okay, I don't know what the best way to do this is. Maybe I'll put it on the floor like it was a minute ago, possibly. You know, I think this is a good enough angle for me to basically try and get this out of here. By the way, if you want to see the specs, they're going to be in the description below, because I don't really know a lot about my PCs. This is so exciting. Like I, like I said, I was not... I've been waiting to get this for so long. We have it. So like I say, I've been waiting to get this for so freaking long now and I'm really excited the fact that it's actually here and I've been able to actually open it on a video as well. So as we talk right now, we're just opening it up. And I don't know too much about PCs to be honest with you. Um, so all the specs are going to be down in the description below if you want to go ahead and check all the, uh, the proper specs out. But I've been told that this is actually a super good PC, so we're going to take the last bit of packaging off. My god. That's what it looks like on the side. Oh, it's got, I'm going to have to open that up because it's got like packaging and whatnot in it. And that's what it looks like. And um, Wow, I don't really know what else to say. I'm super excited about this, honestly. Guys, oh crap, I've lost the screw already. It looks like there are screws to take this panel off, so we're going to have a quick little mess around with that. Then we will get into opening up my monitor as well. So my monitor was basically uh, advised to me by a friend who always does PC gaming. So hopefully it's a decent monitor. Uh, I will get into that in a minute. Is that all I need to do to open this? Or I'm, I'm assuming there's probably more than that. Oh, okay. Wait, no, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Well... That's the back of it as well, if anyone's interested in what the back looks like. 
I don't know why, this felt a lot lighter in the actual box. Um, not seeing it's heavy, it's still quite light, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, like I said, all the specs are going to be down in the description below. I can't seem to get this little panel bit open. I don't really want to be messing around with it, because like I say, my computer knowledge just isn't that great. So I don't know a lot about computers. Um, let see if I can remember which holes I can screw this into. But seriously, you guys do not know how excited I am to be able to receive something this powerful when I've been used to using laptops for like the past eight years or so, probably a bit longer. I've had laptops since I was about probably 11 or 12 years old. I've had a laptop. And now I'm 21 years old, so probably more about nine to 10 years I've had a laptop and I've just upgraded to something a lot better. I've also been told this is gonna be super fast for rendering as well. So um, that's gonna be pretty decent. When DLC drops, I'll be able to render videos really quick and be able to get them out to you super, super quick, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's my PC anyway. If you want to know more about that, do let me know and I'll do what I can to try and tell you what uh, what's what, I guess. Obviously, I'm always, I'm always down to sort of see your comments down below and sort of reply to them and whatnot. If I can answer them, then I'll go ahead and do so. But we have something else to open up. Like I mentioned earlier on, we have a monitor. Now, this is a BenQ monitor and I'm just trying to lift it up right now. That's the monitor. And uh, we're just going to open it up. I don't know much about this either. Literally, my friend sent it me and I just thought, that looks good, so I'll, I'll buy it. Literally. I didn't look too much into the specs, to be honest with you. I just thought anything better than what I got now, which is literally nothing, would do. Um, and I trust my friend who has been gaming on, on PC for like years. So we're going to open this up. I don't know how loud this is, so apologies if you can barely hear my voice right now. But we're going to open this up. And I feel like I should probably put the camera back down again. One second. Okay, so right here we have uh, some type of HDMI cable. Like I say, I don't really know too much about this stuff. It looks like a different type of HDMI cable, but this is alright because I uh, I don't have one of these type of ones yet, I guess. So, for one of those, I'm pretty sure they're just standard, though. You get them with basically every PC. Or like monitor or whatever, anyway. And then we got something there, I guess that's like some sort of a stand... Um, I'm not too sure at this point. Again, I've never really ordered a monitor either. I've had TVs, but never a monitor. So this might be a bit loud, so uh, yeah, just break yourself. Uh, maybe it wasn't as loud as I thought. And then we have the monitor inside, just here. Alright, before we get that, we have papers. We have the plug. And we have the monitor itself. Don't worry, I'm not going to be chucking the monitor like I chucked everything else. And here's the monitor. Okay, so, yeah, the other thing must have been the stand. What's this? If I can get it out. Oh, it looks like I can not get it out. Okay, so we've got the stand right here that's taped to the bottom. Here's the stand. Everything probably connected to it as well. And that'll be everything inside this box. So I need to move this box now out of the way. However, I'm going to say this is really fun just opening stuff up on camera. If I ever get anything else, I might do this in the future as well. Like anything big like this, because uh, this is actually really fun. Even though I have no idea what the hell I'm on about. Like, with the specs and whatnot. Anyway, we have the BenQ monitor right here. We're going to take off the... You can't even see that. We're going to take off the packaging. Here, and this will be my new monitor that I will be PC gaming on. It's that big. Uh, to be specific, it is 24 inches. Um, you have, uh, if I can turn it around and just get rid of that, you just turn it around. But that's the front, there's a few little specs on there. If you could read it, there you go, I'll give you enough time to read it. Yeah, you should be able to read that, that's fine. That's the front, and I don't really know what else about it. I just know it's a good, it's a good monitor. It's not 4K. It's only, um, I guess, 1920 by 1280. I think it is. It's a standard HD definition, I guess, or better than standard technically. So it's HD, you know, quality. We're going to try and put the standard now. I guess. Have a look at that quick. So take off that packaging.
the way she just fit together are like so. Oh. Okay, so we've got two pieces right there together, little little stand. So that's how big that's how big the stand is, like you know, comparison I guess to me. It's quite a nice stand, I mean I think it's pretty sturdy. And now we've got to try and turn this monitor over to then clip this in. Now I think you have to Yeah, I think this is correct. So as you can see there, you have to just clip that together. I know you can't see that well, I'm just gonna do it without messing around. And, wait, is that connected? It's hard to tell. I'm going to assume that's connected. And now all of a sudden we have ourselves the monitor with the stand. That looks pretty awesome. Like I say, 24 inch monitor. But that basically finishes my video. I don't really know what else to put in one of these videos. For one it's just an unboxing and just sort of a, sort of a reaction, I guess. The reason I've got this obviously is like I said because I'm going to be streaming zombies and just doing videos in general and this is going to be a hell of a lot faster than my laptop so I'm just super excited for what's to come with this. Hopefully when I get Premiere Pro and Photoshop and whatnot, rendering and just making thumbnails is going to be super duper quick. It's going to be a lot better of an experience for me and hopefully the videos will be better quality for you. And live streams as well hopefully will be a lot better that will eventually be... Will finally be no more lag, no more splitting of the gameplay or whatnot like my laptop did. My laptop is super, super slow. Especially to this thing, like say, once again, if you want to know the sort of specs and what of this PC, go ahead down in the description below. It's going to be either a link or load the specs like straight up. And I don't even know yet what at this point what I'm doing with that. Um, I'll probably just put a link. You can go ahead and check that if you want to. But this is a super duper good PC. I've been told that for £1,000 this is really good and I got a really good bargain. Um, but do let me know as well what sort of PC you have down in the comments below. If you got it in the same sort of price region as I did or if you got it in a sort of a higher or a lower end price region. Even though I don't really know too much about PCs, I would be interested in knowing exactly what you guys have. And just seeing what the average person has in general. I feel like this is a... A good upgrade for me, my channel, and everything else. So, yeah, I'm just really, really excited. £1,105 altogether I've spent on these two things. Like I said, I've got a mouse and a keyboard as well. They're pretty standard. They're not even worth showing off in this video because they're that bad. But I would say right now, even without trying these, this is money well spent. But that is going to be the end of this video. So if you did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like rating. If you want to see more of this type of thing, whenever I get new things to unbox, and go ahead and let me know as well. Um, I don't really know what else to include in one of these, so if I did miss anything out from a normal unboxing, then I do apologise. Uh, but, like I said, this is my first time ever unboxing anything, really. So, I'm quite new to this type of video, and um, we'll be returning back to zombies very soon once I get this all set up and everything. So, subscribe around here for more content if you're new around here. And as always, I'll see you next time. Peace out.